question number five. Let's start with this expression and looking at the order of operations. We start with parentheses. So 4 minus 1 inside the parentheses, that is just 3. And next one up is exponents. So we have an exponent here. 3 squared is just 9 because that's just 3 times 3. Then we have, we don't have a multiplication in this case, but we have division. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Then addition, so 9 plus 5, 14, minus 1, 13. That's it. Then question number 6. Something important comes up here. What's going to happen whenever we have the division bar over here? We're just going to put parentheses on the numerator every time that there's more than one element here. Down below we would do the same with the with the denominator, the 4. But that's just one element so you don't need to put parentheses around it. So everything else stays the same anyways. So that's what we're gonna do first. So 5 plus 7 is 12. And that's just basically divided by 4. And now I can do exponents. 3 squared is just 9. Great. So then we can do multiplication. 9 times 2 is 18. And division. 12 divided by 4 is just 3. Then we can do addition and subtraction. So 3 minus 1, 2, plus 18, 20. That's it. Note that I did the subtraction first, then the addition, but that would give us the same thing if we instead did 18 plus negative 1, which would be 17, 17 plus 3, 20. So we arrive at the same answer. That's it.